There has always been something incredibly frightening about gas masks. They hide the user's appearance, distort their voice, and make them look very off-putting. So I have compiled a list of the top 10 scariest gas masks. Number 10 is the PH gas hood from World War I. During the First World War, before the commonly known modern gas mask was invented, soldiers wore flannels soaked in chemicals to prevent them from inhaling toxic gases. These were very simple masks, essentially just cloth soaked in or impregnated in chemicals that would disable the active gases. However, there's something very off-putting and creepy about a soaked flannel with eye holes and a mouth flap covering the wearer's face. It hides their identity and seems almost scarecrow-like. In the gas-choked battlefields of World War I, the wearer of this mask would look almost like a ghost moving through the trenches. Number 9 is the GP5 gas mask from the Soviet Union. The mask is the world's most produced mask with over a hundred million of these things made. It's a simple white or black latex hood stretched over the wearer's head with two eyepieces crimped on and a simple intake-outtake valve for the filter. This is a very famous mask for use in films and games and it's very very creepy looking because of the sort of eerie hood-like appearance. This mask was famously used in the Half-Life 1 mod, Paranoia, where zombie Russian soldiers were seen to be wearing it. Although this mask is very common, it's very, very eerie and has a very distinctive profile. Mask number 8 is the XM28 respirator, which was an experimental respirator designed by the US Army to be used in riot control situations and would be a platform that would be used in the development of later masks such as the M17. Rather than having big external filter canisters, it has two slim filters that sit inside the cheeks. However, the bug-eyed look of this mask and the shape of it reminds many people of a locust. There was an official nickname for this mask known as the grasshopper. It has a very insectoid look and is a very weird thing to look at. Cheek filter masks like these would eventually fall out of favour and many nations would return to using normal canister filter type masks. However, the examples of cheek filter masks that exist are certainly slightly unnerving and have a very weird appearance to them. Mask number 7 is the Volks Mask 40 or VM40. In English this would be the People's Gas Mask number 40. This and the Volks Mask 38 were issued to many civilians in Nazi Germany. The mask has a very weird appearance. It's green with a large nose valve and a very large metal cylinder type filter that sits on the bottom of the mask. The whole appearance of this mask is odd and with many examples of this mask, as time has gone on, the eyepieces have discolored becoming eerie shades of red or orange. Many other nations in World War II also issued very creepy looking civilian respirators. The British civilian respirators are very famous examples and were the influence behind a very scary episode of Doctor Who known as The Empty Child. Mask number six is the Swedish Folk Mask from the 1950s. This is very similar in many ways to many of the World War II civilian masks. It's a very simple cheap rubber mask with very interesting convex disc type eyepieces. It was meant to be cheap to produce this mask with me strikes a very good example of a creepy industrial style design. Thankfully these masks were never needed as the Cold War never went hot. Mask number 5 is the Soviet MM1 gas mask which stands for mask membrane number 1. This was issued to tank crews. The mask was designed so the tank user could look through the mask easily to see tank optics and speak through the voice diaphragm to the other tank crewmen. However, this mask bears a very creepy resemblance to a skull or some sort of starved face, with the voice diaphragm and the eyes looking like bony structures sticking out of the front of the mask. The mask was normally used with a hose and a haversack containing a large coffee can style filter. Mask number four is the British Mickey Mouse gas mask. During World War II, Britain wanted children to wear gas masks. 
So they decided if they made the mask bright colours, such as red and blue, it would be more friendly for children to wear it. They also named the mouse Mickey Mask in the hopes it would make children want to wear it, such as a cartoon character, Mickey Mouse. Although this mask bears no resemblance to Mickey Mouse, it is rather creepy looking, especially when you see pictures of little children wearing it. Another variation of this mask was made in black and blue, which doesn't help at all to make the mask look any more child friendly. <sighs> mask number three is another children's mask. This time it is the PDFD Soviet children's mask. Like the GP5 that was issued to civilians, this was a children's version. However, many examples of this mask were made in black and other drab colours, which certainly didn't help make the mask look any friendlier to children. You can find some creepy pictures online of little children wearing this mask, with it drooping off of their faces with elephant-like hoses at the front. There are many famous photos showing this mask laying discarded on the floors of Pripyat in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. This is a mask that's synonymous with disaster. Mask number two is the Soviet SHMS gas mask. This was a mask that resembles a skull. In Russia this is known as the monkey mask because some people think it bears a resemblance to chimps and other primates. However to me this mask will always look like a skull. This mask and other masks like it made by the Soviets played a huge influence in the development of Half-Life 2 behind this famous civil protection gas mask. As you can see, this mask has nothing friendly about it. It literally looks like a skull or a death's head mask. It was issued to snipers and other soldiers that needed to use optics. The flat design of the face means that scopes and binoculars can be placed against the mask. However, it certainly has a skull-like appearance for intimidation value. And finally we have mask number one, the American Mickey Mouse gas mask. Unlike the British one, this mask did resemble Mickey Mouse, although it's absolutely horrifying. The idea, again, like the British model, was to make a mask that would be fun for children to wear, to look like their favourite character, Mickey Mouse. Except the mask looks nothing like Mickey Mouse, it looks like the corpse of Mickey Mouse's face. Imagine hundreds of children wearing this mask, all with the face of Mickey Mouse plastered over theirs, except the colours are off, everything looks wrong about this mask. Walt Disney designed it, with the American government, to want to issue it to children to make them enjoy looking like Mickey Mouse. However, as you can see, this mask is absolutely horrifying, and that's why I think it deserves number one on this list of scary gas masks. Everything about this mask is frightening. It has the off-putting colour, the uncanny valley effect from a famous character that doesn't look quite right, and that it'd be worn by little children running around and singing nursery rhymes. I hope you have enjoyed my list of scary gas masks, although this is my personal top 10. There were lots of masks that I wanted to put on this list, but I think the ones I ended up putting on were the creepiest of the lot. Obviously your personal preferences may vary on this, as there's some really horrifying designs out there. In general, I'd say Soviet masks consistently have creepy designs, and I often think they made them look scary on purpose, to have a psychological effect on the battlefield. If you want to find out more information on many of these masks, then please look on my YouTube channel. I frequently upload videos about gas masks and have quite a wide collection. I don't know everything there is to know about these masks, but I think I have a fairly good knowledge of them. Please let me know in the comments what your personal scary masks are.